Hello, I'm back. Uh, I haven't filmed for the whole month of November because I haven't read anything. I lie. I read just under half of Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. I am really enjoying this. I am just in a massive reading slump and it's really annoying. I do, however, have a lot of work for university that I'm doing, so my time has been taken up by that. I've also recently started playing video games again, which again has also taken up a lot of my time. So <clears throat> we're gonna ignore everything. So this is gonna be my wrap up for the month of October. Um, like I said, there hasn't been a lot of reading. So to start things off, my ebook of the month, can't remember what it was called, um, the little piece of paper is still on my bedside table. Didn't get to it. Simply didn't get to it. I think I read like a total of, it was less than 200 pages, so didn't get to it, is what I'm saying there. Um, so I think, I think I'm gonna put that on hold for the month of November. Maybe pick it up, pick that specific book up next month but and my workload should decrease because I've had two essays to write that's in the same week um after this week I have a week technically I have a week of reading um <laughs> reading for university uh then we have a visual case study and a group presentation along with weekly submissions that we need to do so depending on my workload I may start reading again I plan on trying to start reading in the mornings just because that is probably when I will have the most amount of free time. Um, so yeah. So <laughs> I do have currently two books on my currently reading and those are Never Never by James Patterson. I started this in September and I still haven't finished it. I haven't even really progressed. I'm up to page 51. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I am enjoying this. I think I'm just in a really big reading slump, and because I because of that, I wasn't really getting into the story. Um, so yeah, this is different to the stuff that I've read by James Patterson, just in the fact it's set in a different country. So I think that like mind boggled me a little bit. But I am hoping to get to this next month, hopefully. Similarly, I started Ash Princess this month and I got just under halfway through. I mean, like halfway, according to my tab, is 215 pages and I got up to 184. So I was just under halfway through this book and I am really, really enjoying it. Um, I feel like fantasy was the good way for me to go. Um, always seems to sort out my reading slumps, even just for a little bit. But. Yeah, I am, like I said, doing a lot of work at the minute for university. Second year is shaping up to be very busy and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but yes, um, I think <clears throat> after directed study week, which is what this week is that I have off, um, I will start reading in the mornings. I may even read during directed study week because I do only have university readings to do. I don't have any work to do because I have finished it. <laughs> so yeah, the other two that was on my list was Beautiful Lies by Isabella Ashdown. Isabella? Isabel Ashdown. Um, I didn't get to this and I still don't know much about this and I kind of want to keep it that way. Um, I will hopefully get to this at some point. This, it, the time of year we're in now is the time where I would probably like to start reading more thrillers. Um, just because it's getting to winter. Thrillers, and I already read a lot of fantasy anyway, fantasy is my life, but hopefully a lot more fantasy. But even during like the Christmas period we have technically three weeks off, um, but through that, um, we call it like, it's, it's like the end of term, the end of semester, uh, we have revision to do for an exam because we have two weeks where we have where we could have well where we do have an exam so we have to do 
Arrowvision for that. Um, so I probably won't even get much red during the month of December, which is really annoying. But hopefully in January, I have no exams in second semester, just coursework, like essays and things, um, which should hopefully really help with my reading. I think I'm stressing about the fact that I have to take an exam and that's putting me off reading and then I'm like I have this to do and I have that to do and it takes me ages to do my work. Anyway I'm rambling. The final book I had on my list to read was again Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagwa. I really want to get to this so much. It is chunky though. Chunkier than what I can manage at the moment. Um, but I do really want to get to this. Julie Kagwa is one of my favourite authors and it's really paining me that I haven't got to this or the sequel yet and yeah, we're not going to go right down that road but my reading slump is really annoying me. So yes, my plan for November is to attempt to try and read when I wake up in the morning, maybe make a cup of tea, just relax for like an hour and read, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Or like just read up until I have to leave for my lectures maybe and then I can do my work after my lectures. We will we will see what happens with that. But yes, <laughs> that was my wrap up. I started and got almost halfway through one book this month out of the four. This one wasn't even technically on my TBR in my journal. It was just added as like a, I was hoping to finish this. I never did. But yes, I had four books on my official TBR and I never got to them. I also still have to do the layout for my November spread for my journal because I haven't done that yet either because I've been so busy. But that will be one evening this week that I do that. So yes. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked, please like the video. Um, if you have any questions about the books, not that I can answer them at this point in time. Um, just leave a comment. I could direct you to the Goodreads page, whatever. Or if I know something about it, then I can tell you. There are two books here that I know some stuff about. Um, yes. Um, and that was everything. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon in another video. Bye!